is alongside the road. Definitely looks like a rainforest here. Here the road became a river, riverbed. Came from? And the volcano. Weather's cleared just enough to be able to see the plume, the volcanic plume. There's this underside right there. Lots of interesting rocks around here. This is a boulder with obsidian on it on the side. amazing the forces that move through this valley. Nicholas says this valley was narrow once. You couldn't even see the water because the vegetation was hanging. And yet look at these walls. Scoured clean. These enormous logs just tossed about. Rocks. Big ones. I'm sure that was not there before.
This tree snapped right off. Look at the twist here in this one. Torque effects. Here we are, farther up the stream. The bridge is there in the distance. Behind me, the walls. Pretty high. All wet, dripping. Moss, algae, roots. And here, the real show. This is part of the lava dome that we saw earlier. Here is the higher part. You can only see its base at the moment. But in a minute ago, a minute ago, you can see the whole thing. I'm hoping soon the vented clouds will clear and we'll be able to see it. important to remember that none of this was here before a year ago. You could not see this mountain from here. It's grown about 900 feet in a year. Well at least before the collapse back in February, it lost some height. Since then it's grown some hundreds of feet more. Pretty amazing really. Colors in the clouds, orange and brown. Maybe difficult to see. First I thought maybe it was orange light from fire inside, lava, magma. But now I wonder if the cloud itself is colored because of a gas, maybe some sulfur sulfur dioxide, something like that. You can see it pretty clearly here. 